Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites. We are continuing with our lessons from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast, written by Ayd Abdullah Al-Qarni, which can be downloaded from kalamullah.com. Let's read. Page 122. Lesson 26. Images of love and brotherhood are manifested in Ramadan. The Muslims constitute one hand, one heart, and one unit. They are like the Prophet, peace be upon him, described them as a single body. Only Islam can gather their disparate elements, and only Islam can create brotherhood between them. If thou had expended all that is on earth, thou couldst not have brought their hearts together by thyself, but God did bring them together. Verily, he is almighty, wise. Quran 8 verse 63. Significantly, the Muslims are not united in language, blood, colour, race or country. They possess, however, unity of religion. For they are all brought together under the umbrella of There is no God save Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Muslims distinguish themselves by their God consciousness and gain precedence because of their knowledge. O men, behold, we have created you all out of a male and a female and have made you into nations and tribes so that you may come to know one another. Verily, the noblest of you in the sight of God is the one who is most deeply conscious of him. Behold, God is all-knowing, all-aware. Quran 49 verse 13 When the Prophet, peace be upon him, called to Islam, the caller to prayer came from Ethiopia, saying, Here I am, O Lord. I have answered your call. Likewise, the Prophet peace be upon him himself came forth and proclaimed concerning Salman the Persian, Salman is from my household. And there was Shuaib the Roman calling, God is the greatest, God is the greatest. Meanwhile, the people of segregation and racism, Al-Walid ibn Mughira, Abu Jal and Abu Lahab, all regressed. Thus it was reported, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to say, O children of Hashim, a people would come on the day of judgment with their deeds, and you would come with your family trees. In another hadith, he warned, Whoever was slowed down by his deeds would not be hastened by his lineage. In reality, the Muslims constitute a large brotherhood in which every righteous and guided believer gains membership. Islam does not belong to one particular people or race. It belongs to the Arabs, Indians, Turks, Pakistanis and Africans, and indeed all mankind. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq was a Qurayshi, Bilal, an Ethiopian, Shuaib, a Roman, Salman, a Persian, and Muhammad the Conqueror was a Turk. Iqbal, the great poet, was an Indian, and Salahuddin Yubi, was a card. They were all bonded by the same doctrine, that there is no God save Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. This great oneness manifests itself in Ramadan. The month is one and the same. The fasting is one. The direction of prayers is one. And the methodology is also one. We all pray behind one imam. Allah says, and bow down in prayer with all who thus bow down. Quran 2 verse 43. And stand before God in devout obedience. Quran 2 verse 238. Addressing those who fast, Allah Almighty says, O you who have attained to faith, fasting is ordained for you as it was ordained for those before you, so that you might remain conscious of God. Quran 2 verse 183. In the same manner, our pilgrimage is one, its timing is one, and its venue is one. And when you surge downward in multitudes from Arafah, remember God at the holy place and remember him as the one who guided you after you had indeed been lost on your way. Quran 2 verse 198. Allah further calls upon the Muslims to maintain his bond and not to be divided. And hold fast altogether 
and to the bond with God, and do not draw apart from one another. And remember the blessings which God has bestowed upon you, how, when you were enemies, he brought your hearts together, so that through his blessing you became brethren. Quran 3 verse 103. In forbidding divisions, Allah says, And be not like those who have drawn apart from one another, and have taken conflicting views after all evidence of the truth has come unto them. For these, it is for whom tremendous suffering is in store. Quran 3 verse 105. One practical measure that must be adopted as a means of preventing divisions is contained in the Prophet, peace be upon him, sayings. Allah has revealed to me that you should be humble so that no one will oppress another and no one will display arrogance toward one another. In another hadith, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, The believers are like bricks in a wall. They support each other. He also said, A Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. He neither oppresses him, nor does he fail him. He neither lies to him, nor does he hold him in contempt. It is evil enough for a man to hold his brother Muslim in contempt. The whole of a Muslim for another is inviolable. His blood, his property, and his honour. Among the duties of this brotherhood is that one should inquire about the well-being of his brother and visit him for the sake of Allah. He should moreover visit and console him if he is sick, greet him whenever he meets him with a bright smile on his face, pray for him when he sneezes, accept his invitation, help him if he is oppressed, and advise and direct him. There are, of course, other rights and duties. Every Muslim on the face of the earth is therefore your brother in faith and according to the Quranic law. Allah Almighty has originated this covenant which Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought. O Allah, attune our hearts, bring us together and unite our ranks. O you who are the most generous to those who show kindness. That was the end of today's lesson. Please do join us for tomorrow's lesson, inshallah. And at the same time, please do share the podcast with your family and friends and do leave us a review and rating wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobyte.com and do join our community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.